If you read any books or listen to any speakers today that try to prove the truth of Christianity, they place a lot of emphasis on the empty tomb. And that's a good point for us today, some 2,000 years after the event. But what did the empty tomb prove to those on that first Easter? When you read the Gospel accounts and their experience with the empty tomb, it seems to have only befuddled them. It was their encounters with the risen Jesus that changed their mind. Doubting Thomas is a prime example of this. In John 20, verse 2, Mary Magdalene goes back and reports to the disciples that someone has taken the Lord out of the tomb, and she didn't know where they had laid him. Luke 24, 12 includes the other women in his account. In Luke 24, verses 8 through 12, the women tell the disciples that they found the tomb empty and that angels told them that Jesus was risen. And what do the great men of faith, the very foundation of the church, believe? They think that these words seem to be an idle tale, and they didn't believe them. Peter, on the other hand, gets up and runs out to the tomb to check this out. And when he found the tomb empty, the NRSV tells us that he went home amazed at what happened. 24-12. Problem is, this is a pretty positive translation of the phrase here. The Greek word translated as amazed in the NRSV is the Greek word thamazo. This can mean to be impressed, astonished, wondered about something, or be surprised. The New English translation translates this as he went home wondering what had happened. I think that's a little bit closer to Peter's experience because as you read the Gospels, he doesn't understand what had happened yet. Let's go back to the Gospel of John again, verse 20, because after Mary tells him that she found the tomb empty, Peter and another disciple run out to the tomb. The other disciple sees what's there and he believes. It doesn't tell us what he believes, and it doesn't tell us anything about Peter's reaction. And then both of them just wander off back to their homes after the experience. It seems to have had little, if any, impact on them at all. Just like in Luke's Gospel, they are confused at best. When they wander off back to their homes, these guys display a remarkable degree of sensitivity. After finding the tomb empty, they just walk away, leaving Mary there, who told them about it, brought them there, and she's left behind by herself, distraught. You can imagine them walking back. What are you doing this afternoon? I don't know. I hear Jericho is racing Joppa down at the Hippodrome. You want to go check it out? Seems good. I don't have any plans this afternoon. Let's go. Mary is left behind, alone, crying, outside this tomb. This is when Jesus approaches her and asks why she's crying. Thinking that he's a gardener, she asks him, Sir, if you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will take him. She thinks that someone cleared out the tomb, dumped the body behind the gardener's shed, or something like that. Even when confronted with the empty tomb and the very physical presence of Jesus standing there talking to her, she is not able to grasp what has happened. It is so far out of the nature of our daily lives that it's almost impossible to understand. It's not until Jesus calls her by name does she recognize who he is, Rabboni. Once again, if you wanted to start a new religion, and base it on strong evidence to convince people, this is not the way to go about doing it. It indicates that the event of Easter was so mind-shattering that even when confronted with direct physical evidence, it was almost impossible to grasp. And it indirectly speaks about the historical veracity of the Gospel accounts. It would have been all too tempting to portray the apostles as great men of faith who believed when they saw the empty tomb. What we have here is reluctant evidence. They wouldn't want to come out and say, man, it took me 40 days before I got my head around this. Their unbelief and confusion is part of the very foundation of our faith because that is the way it happened.